Work for thousands of Afghan refugees who fled the Taliban for their lives and their livelihoods changed dramatically overnight. These are some of the stunning images of the thousands of people who were desperately trying to flee the country as the Taliban gained control. Thousands of them were welcomed and processed at military bases and posts in the United States, and many now call El Paso home. But the new life has challenges of its own. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez is live to tell us more about the hurdles some refugees are now experiencing. Rosemary. Stephanie, about 50 Afghans are now living in El Paso. Slowly, many of them have found housing and basic necessities through their resettlement agency. But now there's another pressing need, finding jobs. Here's a story of one Afghan living in El Paso whose challenge remains. The first job, the getting the first job will be a little bit challenging. Meet Bilal Ahadi. He arrived in the U.S. back in August, fleeing his war-torn country. He's been here for six months. It's challenging in here from fighting a job, from the, you know, the high rents or the high rates. In Afghanistan, he lives securely with a stable job. I had a pretty good life there, and I was working with U.S. Embassy for six years. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good life back in home. Actually, as a contractor, and uh, I was working with them, so we used to work in the food service. But the challenge of finding a job in a different country is more difficult. Because um, in U.S., in the U.S., so you have to have experience for getting a job. So you're asking for experience that you have to get it from inside the United States. So in overseas. Uh, if you have experience or not, so it's not going to be very crucial for you. He now has an ID, authorization for him to work here, and the resettlement agency is helping him find a job. Uh, the concern, of course, like any of us, is we need gainful employment so that we can be able to sustain ourselves. And that's what this program is about, is, is to help them on their journey towards self-sustainability. Fresca said they don't need to know English to succeed at a workplace. They're going to be some of the best, the, your best employees that you're ever going to be able to have because of their tenacity and, and resiliency. I just want to get a job and get paid, yeah, that's all I want. He is hoping to get five of them full-time jobs. Fresca says it'll make your workplace even more diverse. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer or in giving donations, you can do so by finding that information on our website, kvia.com. For now, reporting in the West Side, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. All right.